Yes! You are leaving the new world. I can't believe I'm outside of town. Me neither. Nobody set foot outside since the construction of the new world. It was forbidden to go outside because of the radiation. It's, an, it's been so many years now. I don't think it's still dangerous. The Red House. Mom. Did you say something? Um. Did you hear a voice? Nope. Why is this a question? Mm, nothing. Forget about it. Okay. So, we're in this, like, weird little town. It doesn't want to open. Okay. Nothing over here. Okay, so I'm guessing we just go straight on up. Oh! That building looks interesting. Doesn't want to open. Does this one open? <gasps> it does. Ooh. I don't know why, but this one's really creepy too. Wait a minute, there was there was something up there. No, don't go back up. Go back up. There was something up here. I know in a lot of these games. Oh no. Okay. I know in a lot of these games, if you miss something. Like, it changes what happens. That's weird. I thought the soldiers of, an, of the New World w had made sure to block every subterranean entrance. Someone will build a railway, railway under the city. I don't... I think I know who did this. You think it's for your father? Absolutely. This way. Keep marching on. Okay, let's say by the teddy bear. Hey, teddy bear. Okay. It's a little switch. I don't think it's really safe to be going under here knowing that there's like railroad tracks. It's impossible to use it. It's password protected. It's locked. Ooh, I wonder what's this way. Nothing. Okay, let's go up here. Hmm. Nothing here. Ooh. It's really dark in here. There's an ominous feeling. Hey teddy bear. Don't be scared. I'm to the res I'm coming to the rescue. Oh. Yuna. It's been a while that you didn't call me by my name. Your mother was doing the same thing when she was angry against me. Why? Your mother was sick. As a scientist, I had to do something. I tried to find a cure, but I failed. I tried everything to save her because I love her. Even bring her back to life? Definitely. But she accepted this fate. You cannot make decisions in this place. Yuna, you love Kazuki, right? Huh? Why is this a question? Of course. Cause if Kazuki was going to die, and you had the power to save his life, what would you do? I... I... If he, if he told me to let go, I would do it. Liar! <gasps> you lie, you lie, you lie! Dad. Damn those angels of death. Damn this limit of soul. Damn you. 
gonna be care. Mom. F Fiora. I thought you were gone forever. Do you realize what you've just told our daughter? It doesn't matter now. You're finally here. I thought that you reached the limit of soul. Limit of soul? Exactly. Once the limit of soul is reached, you disappear towards the afterlife. Everybody has a limit of soul when you die. When our heart has stopped beating, we find ourselves in the world of the dead. And in this world, after a while... Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I've found a way to stop the limit of soul. What this means that... No one's gonna leave the world of the dead. Okay, this guy's creepy. Nothing will separate us. And there will be no more sadness. Okay, I told you this guy was creepy. I told you this guy was creepy. <gasps> what have you done? Isn't that wonderful? But something has thwarted my plans. Those angels of death. I don't know where they come from. But they only have one objective. Send the deaths towards the afterlife. It's like to switch off a computer by the start menu, but the computer doesn't respond. So there's only one thing to do. Shut down the computer manually. This is terrible! What if someone got killed by a human? Will he suffer for eternity? That is not my problem. So these things aren't really bad, but still they act pretty violently. Wait a minute. They were not only killing dead people, but everyone. Yeah, as far as I know, we're not dead. Nuna, I'm not here because you, your father bring me back to life. I'm here because I am dead. I already know that. That's why I'm wondering how can you be here then? It is because you are dead. We're all dead. We are in the world of the dead. <gasps> no! It can't be. Yes, it is. I've discovered that the human being does not live thanks to beating the beating of his heart, but thanks to his mind. Which means that mind creates reality. One of the biggest questions of humanity is finally answered, thanks to me. I've created a machine that swallows all the human souls into the world of the dead without dying. If a human being does not die, the limit of soul does not exist. We live in death forever. What has happened to you? You're not the one that I knew formerly. You've changed into a monster. A monster? I did all of this for you. I've never asked for all of this. You did that for you, not me. If you really loved me, you would let me go. It's time to stop this madness. Destroy the machine! So this is how you thank me. I see. Looks like I'm gonna use... the strongest approach. What do you... Do you know what happens when two souls are combined? Let me go! Mom! <gasps> We're about to know it. Oh, you... you oh, no. Mom! You know, wait! Where do you think you're going? It's obvious. I'm gonna say my mother. Do you even know where this machine is leading? It's too dangerous. I don't care. I'm already dead. Yuna, I've got to save her. This she doesn't deserve this. My father doesn't didn't deserve this. Listen, we need a plan. We're gonna save your mother and destroy the Antropole. Are you sure you want to go inside this thing? Yes, for mother's sake. 